Hey, everybody. Wanted to uh, reach out to you on Friday afternoon. You know, normally I try to do these on uh, Friday mornings, but uh, it's been a little crazy lately. And, you know, it's been gloomy. Uh, we just set a record of 153 days, 154 days under 60 degrees here in Idaho. And that's that's a new record. But I got to tell you, man, all this busyness and everything else can lead to burnout. And I got to I got to admit to you guys, I've been facing a little bit of that lately. And uh I'm not getting my vitamin D like I normally do. I'm not down at the beach, hanging out, walking around, getting my sunshine from the outside. It's cold and gloomy. But I want to kind of tell you guys five things that you can do to make sure that you avoid burnout. I mean, here's a few tips that you can really put to work because the last thing you want to do is get burned out because when you get burned out, your productivity falls, your edge falls off. But if you do these five things, you're going to make sure that you stay on top of it, stay on your game and be able to perform at your best. And everybody needs you to be at your best. So let's talk about it, right? Take breaks, take breaks during your day to recharge. You know, I always like to make sure that everybody gets at least a half an hour for lunch. I really hate it when I see people eating lunch at their desk because at the end of the day, they're not getting a break. They're not giving their mind a break. They're not seeing uh, the outside. They're not freshening up. They're just trying to power through it so they can get on to what's next because I got to get away from this, which really makes the JLB feel like a soul sucker and a half. And that's the last thing you want it to do, right? Because hopefully most of us are working in jobs that we like. But it doesn't mean that we're passionate about it and in love with it every single day, all day long. But there's always that point when you're taking breaks throughout the day to recharge, refocus, and just get up and walk around. The other thing is you got to set realistic goals and deadlines. I mean, look, I think it was Elon Musk that said it's amazing what we overestimate we can do in a year and underestimate that we can do in 10 years. But the reality is if you set realistic goals, and deadlines you're going to feel productive you're going to feel like you're getting the right amount of stuff done and you're going to feel like you're making it to the finish line the third thing you can do is learn to say no when you need to i got to admit man that's the hard one for me there's always another deal out there there's always another project there's always something else that i want to do and it's hard for me to lean into that and be okay with the fact that in order to give my best sometimes i can't do everything for everybody because the reality is I have to be fresh for the tasks on hand and I've got to make sure that I've got enough budgeted in my tank to get me across the finish line for everything I've got going. The other thing you got to do is you got to prioritize self-care, exercise, meditation, your hobbies, whatever else you got. Uh, I know a lot of guys are out skiing in beautiful uh, Idaho. We've got more snow than we can handle. But, you know, tomorrow I'm taking some time for myself. I'm jumping in the plane. Uh, I'm going to head up to McCall. I'm going to take some time to make sure that I get what I need. The other thing that I've also done this year is I've really boosted my workout regimen so that I know that I'm getting that in. I'm getting that taken care of. I'm getting that down. And I'm making sure that I'm in the best physical condition I can to handle the stress that's going to help me not burn out. Plus, we all know the benefits of the cortisol and and the dopamine and everything you get from a good workout. So you've got to prioritize that self-care and you've got to make sure that you're doing things that will help you stay at the top of your game. Last thing you got to do is you got to connect with friends and loved ones regularly. You got to remember to slow down. You got to remember to reach out because it's not everybody's responsibility to reach out and check in on you, but it's always nice to be checked on and maybe somebody else needs you to check in on them. You know, I was just talking with a friend of mine and he said, man, you know, if you need me to come out, I can come out and hang out with you, make you force you to get out of the office, get a couple of days off, do some things that are recreational, get your head right. I assured him I was doing okay. But the reality is, is if you're not going to take care of yourself with these five simple little things, you can't expect to stay sharp. You can't expect to be given 110% to everybody else. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you I've proven it time and time again. Why time and time again? Because I'm hard-headed and I like to prove that the theory works also in this attitude and atmosphere. But the reality is I've proven time and time again that I don't have the bandwidth to do everything. And the more that I try and do, the more I start to falter in that bandwidth. And the more that I slow down in that and my ability to perform, 
the worse my outcome becomes, the worse my results are. And at the end of the day, I would have been much better off to have taken the time that I promised myself I couldn't afford to freshen up my mind, my body, and be able to tackle all of the things that I truly had to make time for and make sure that I had all of that dialed in. So guys, that's um, those are my tips for this Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. Make sure that you do something fun. Make sure you check in on your loved ones. Make sure you set time aside for your own self-care. Other than that, guys, make sure you have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon.